It is about people going in, buying surplus. It is about preachers making money off of scared people that want to save their souls by thinking if they donate enough, they're going to go to heaven. Alright, doomsday prophecies are about making money and about controlling people. Okay? Now, does this mean that we're not going to have an evolution? No. I imagine the human race will have an evolution. And to some it might be the end of the world as we know it. Okay? As we know it. That's the key right there. Not that the world isn't going to end, but it's going to end as we know it. Okay? It's going to change. It's going to evolve. Society will be different. Um, thought process will be different. We might have different technologies. Or for all we know, we might not have any technologies at all. Okay? I don't think we're going to be having a meteor shower that's going to come down and it's going to be like, oh my god. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, the last time that happened was a really, 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 really long time ago. It's what brought upon the Ice Age. <clears throat> now, even recently, science has been debating whether or not it was actually the meteor that caused the Ice Age or if it was a shift in the polar magnetic field. Okay, so even that is debatable. They're actually debating based on archaeological discoveries that more than likely what happened was the poles shifted. North became south and south became north. And this is actually what caused the Ice Age. Mainly because when the Ice Age happened, that was also the same time that the continents drifted apart. At one point, all the continents were connected as one large landmass. Well, now they're not. And this also happened around the same time of the Ice Age. And science says that the only reason that would happen is by polar shifts, by magnetic shifts, okay? So they think that the asteroid that hit was devastating, yes, but not the actual reason of the Ice Age, okay? So if you take that into consideration as well, okay, and with our modern technology of what would we would be able to survive, okay, because it has been proven that man has the technology right now to be able to have a completely underground society, okay? So, first off, even if it was a, as they say, extinction level event, which it probably wouldn't be, we would be able to survive underground. Okay, so man would still be alive. Alright? So, it's because I do research, and I'm intelligent, and I don't just talk a bunch of bullshit. You know, I like to back up what I say and be knowledgeable, okay? <coughs> so, we then start looking at doomsday or Armageddon on a spiritual level. So then people start saying that, oh, God is going to cause Armageddon and it's going to be like Noah and the Ark, or it's going to be an ascension of humankind, or aliens are going to come down and get us. I'm sorry, but these things have been being said since the 70s, the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, okay? So, all of these things are possible. This is true. This is true. All these things are possible. But for me, based on everything that I've seen, everything that I've read, I honestly believe it's going to be more of a change of society, the way that we think, spiritual abilities becoming more recognized, becoming more accepted and whatnot. Personally, for me, that's what I believe. I believe we're going to start completely de thinking differently. I would not be surprised if what triggers this change is a civil war in the United States. I would not be surprised on that right now, okay? Or possibly China collapsing as a country because they are not able to procreate properly. So, that's my two cents on it. My, my, my dollar, my dollar on that. Well, normally I would be with you guys and just say, "Oh no, don't worry about these doomsday position, you know, uh, uh, predictions. We, this, we've heard it all before. It's just a bunch of fear mongering. Blah blah blah. There's no God. 
The thing is, though, Abigail, I was raised atheist agnostic for the first 28 years of my life. <clears throat> August 3rd, year 2000, I was physically transported into the future by an angel to witness the end of time, dissolving of the elements, judgment day, ascension of the earth. I was physically there for it. Not a dream, not a drug-induced vision. I was not an out-of-body experience, not a near-death experience. I was tangibly, really, and actually there for that event. And I was not showing any exact dates, like I'm not going to say it's going to have to be on December 21st, but everything I witnessed is everything the mind calendar people are trying to figure out. I was there for that, Abigail. I was there for it. Now, it was the most terrifying event I've ever experienced. Okay? You know, you, and by the way, I'm not profiting off of this. I have a book, but no one ever buys it. It's all free to read online. I've never profited from this. You, you say, like, Doomsday is all about making money. I've never made a cent from this. Daniel, I wasn't specifically saying you, and I don't doubt your experience, as I wasn't there, and I do know those types of things are possible. I wasn't specifically saying you. However, for the majority of people that do preach about Doomsday and really get out there and talk about it, they do profit about it. I mean, this just happened recently last year. Okay, so, so the majority of people do, okay, whether it's the grocery stores, whether it's videos online or something. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking specifically about you. And I don't doubt of your experience because it very well could have happened, okay? Um, and the fact that you didn't get a date, you know what I mean? It could, it could be t this year, or it could be 50 years from now. You know what I mean? And that's kind of my essential point. And with what you saw, with time ending, the unraveling of time. Now, for me personally, if time unraveled, okay, what what would that do? It would mean nothing exists. It would mean God does not exist. It would mean our thought of God does not exist. We never existed. Uh, Jesus never came to earth. None of that ever happened. Because when time unravels, the present, the future, and the past completely disappear. It no lo none of it exists at all anymore. So if that really does happen, then what I would say as a hypothetical question with no insult meant is if that actually does happen, then what does it matter if religion exists? What does it matter if money exists? Because if time is going to unravel, then none of it exists. You know, Noah's Ark never happened. Uh, Adam and Eve never happened. None of it ever happened. So then there's no point to it all. Do you see what I'm saying? So, I'm not doubting what you said, Daniel. I'm really not, because that's very interesting that you had that experience. And I would imagine it was very terrifying and very eye-opening. I really would. Um, but if time unravels, then we will have never learned anything. Because our spirits are connected to time. Time is everything. Time is now, time is present, time is past, time is parallel, time is up, time is down. Time is everything. So then our spirits never existed. We, Our spirits were never created. So then therefore there is no spirit to evolve. There is no spirit that can go to heaven. There is no spirit that can go to hell. You know what I mean? I mean if we're just looking at this in a completely hypothetical kind of sense. you know. Now I would imagine if you are a person of faith, which I know that you are, Daniel then you would not agree with the aspect that the spirit is connected with time and that it is a spirit that will evolve and go to heaven and be safe and sound and all that kind of good stuff, you know, which is totally awesome. If that happens, that, that's awesomeness. That's totally cool, you know. But based off of my abilities and things that I've seen and the things that I connect with, our spirit is connected with time. So to me, if time unravels, then there is no spirit. So, why do I even bother giving readings? Why do I even bother helping people? 
you, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's almost just hypothetical, of course, because none of us really know. None of us really know, honestly. You know what I mean? I mean, even though we might have those experiences, and we can feel it with every bone in our body, in all honesty, we really don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> 